All right, let's put our hands together, applause and pause together also, for your host with the best hair in the room, the only man who is in danger of being killed and eaten by Ted Nugent, ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Man Mac! Hey! All right, let's welcome everyone to the Detroit Music Awards! Come on! To the 19th Annual! Hey, let's give a big round of applause here. These two ladies, these are uh, uh, two ladies from the Made in Detroit clothing line. Their table's out there. This is Kid Rock's clothing line. You guys gotta check this out. And this is, uh, this is Jessica and Marissa. Now, Marissa is trying to be the next Riff Girl, so I know the voting starts, what, on Monday? Yeah, so make sure you folks go online and vote for Marissa. But let's hear it for uh, Jessica and Marissa with Made in Detroit, everybody. Thanks, ladies. Thank you very much. All righty. Well, for some of you that don't know me, I am your monster of ceremonies tonight. I am Wolfman Mac. And I'm part of the local scene too, man. You know, I'm, uh, I, I produce a locally produced nationally syndicated television show. It's taped in Pontiac, Michigan at the Erebus Haunted Attraction. And we host all of those crazy B horror movies and sci-fi movies you grew up watching as a kid with the ghoul and Sir Graves, all that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Well, my show is seen all over the country on the Retro Television Network every Saturday night at 10 o'clock, so I hope you guys check us out, so. Man, look at all these people here tonight. It's kind of confusing though. I, you know, I gotta ask you, and maybe some of you musicians can help me out. How many of you musicians sometimes take a gig and the bar owner goes to you and he's like, hey, uh, tell you what, we'll give you part of the door as your pay. You guys do that? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of weird because the owner of the joint just came back five minutes ago. He's like, Wolfman, there's 20 people here. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I, no matter how many people are here tonight, I think you guys should get a round of applause for all these musicians taking time off of your day and evening jobs. Yeah. A lot of you away from your regular jobs tonight. All these musicians here, man, I'll tell you, it'd be tough as hell to get a pizza delivered tonight. Wow. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Wait, no, seriously though, you, you know what the difference is between a musician and a large pizza? A large pizza could feed a family of four. Oh! All right, let's talk about a local news. We got the local music news. There's tons of it. Everybody has heard already about the Pontiac Silverdome. That joint has opened up again. Yeah, they're gonna be doing concerts there. Yeah, it's gonna be easy for musicians that had a problem bringing down the house before. That old rickety joint won't be a problem anymore, I'll tell you that. Man, oh man. Well, let's see, we've got uh, Ypsilanti-based Iggy and the Stooges. They just got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's hear it for those guys. Did you guys see that on the video where he ripped off his tuxedo jacket and he ripped off his shirt? That's something I couldn't do. I couldn't do that because if I did, it would look like Bigfoot and Robin Williams had a love child or something like that. But uh, yeah, some other uh, local music news is, uh, uh, well, let's see, we've got Carolyn Streho, she's up for what? Is this true? Is it 10 awards? Is she nominated for 10 awards? 12 awards? That's crazy. She's like the, she's like the avatar of the Detroit Music Awards. Well, except Avatar was favored to win, but uh, yeah. See a lot of, uh, how many smokers we have here tonight? We have a lot of smokers? Man, won't be long now here in Michigan. It's gonna be against the law to smoke in a place like this, I know. Uh, what are you guys booing about, really? I mean, think about it. Some of the stuff you guys smoke isn't necessarily legal anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> hey, so uh, these ladies that came out with uh, Kid Rock's clothing line, wanna make sure every, that's, that's some great local music news right there, man. Doing a good job with that, Kid Rock, and uh, I understand his brother's in the, in the audience. But uh, yeah, make sure you check out Made in Detroit. Because I tell you, right now, that's about the only thing that is. Yeah, I'm surprised Kid Rock isn't up for like some kind of an award, because this werewolf right here, man, I love that all summer long tune. You guys hear that? Of course, I like anything that's gonna sound like Werewolves of London. But uh, speaking of Kid Rock, you know who else is here? Ty Stone. 
Ty Stone is here. Let's show this guy some love. Come on. Where's he at? Is he here? I, I can't see behind these lights. It doesn't matter anyway. But man, Ty, I'm telling you what. This werewolf loves Line of Blood. That is a great tune right there. Uh, let's see, who else is here tonight, celebrity-wise? We've got uh, Alto Reed, Bob Seger's uh, saxophonist. He's here tonight. He's got his own CD up there, too. Make sure you guys check that out. You know, actually, you know, Bob Seger, I understand, and who doesn't love Bob Seger? But Bob Seger, man, that cat has been around for a long time, and I understand that he's actually going to be going on tour. How cool is that? Wow. Boy, I don't know. I, I haven't heard too much about the concert yet, but I did recently read that you will be able to get discounted tickets using your AARP card, okay? I'm not trying to say Bob Seger is old, but it is kind of funny that his is the only tour sponsored by the Old Country Buffet. That's all I'm saying. I do like the song Like a Rock, though. Of course, back then, Back then, Like a Rock was about the Chevy truck. Now it's about his kidney stone. <laughs> how, many, how many gospel musicians we have here tonight? Where's my gospel musicians? Oh, here a few. Oh, that was a good howl. Oh. Got a lot of gospel musicians here tonight. They're up for some serious awards, too. You know, gospel musicians, no offense, man. Your music is great. It's uplifting. I don't really listen to it myself, but... I am gonna stick around because I really wanna find out which one of you God loves the most. All right, so we do have a lot of awards to hand out this evening. And uh, just remember, all of you musicians, if you don't win, just keep in mind that it's an honor just to be nominated. It's an honor, all right? Yeah, just ask the musicians that got put up in the mezzanine tonight, they'll tell you. What an honor it is just to be nominated. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, let's get on to our, let's get on to our first presenters of the night. Hey, we have the first award of the evening being presented by two fantastic guests. The first is a partner in TGIF Music and Tailgater Distributors. And the second is a former Detroit Lion and Super Bowl champion. Of course, I guess you can figure out which one of those came first. Let's welcome Kevin Janeway and Lovis Brown, everybody. Yeah. 